Most people don't want to replace their tires every year, or even every couple years. For some, buying new tires is something they want to do as infrequently as possible, so they're looking for the maximum mileage they can get when shopping for a new set. But tire design requires compromise, and some of the strategies used to improve a tire's longevity can have a negative effect in other areas. So it's up to the tire manufacturers to find that balance that delivers both quantity and quality. The recently introduced Michelin Defender T Plus H features a familiar tread pattern and utilizes an advanced all-season compound in an effort to improve durability and longevity without sacrificing performance in any other areas. The Hankook Kenner GPT is another newly released tire with a similar focus on providing long life plus wet traction and dry handling performance. To see how these new releases compare to some of the best and most popular standard touring all-season tires, we brought them together along with the Continental True Contact and Pirelli P4 Four Seasons Plus for a full comparison. Let's see what we found out. To begin the test, I'm driving the car equipped with the Continental True Contact. This tire is noticeably softer than the rest of the group. The noise quality is good too, with just a hint of tread growl that makes its way into the cabin. The steering feel and light handling are a little dull or maybe just a little relaxed. They're appropriate for the category, but they could be more involving. Now I'm driving the vehicle equipped with the Hankook Kinergy PT. Overall, this tire has a nice ride, though it is just a touch firm and there's some light reverberation that continues after larger impacts. The steering is very responsive, almost to the point of being twitchy, and it feels a little unsettled when driving over grooved concrete. Now I'm driving the vehicle equipped with the Michelin Defender T plus H. The steering response on this tire feels the most performance oriented of the group. It has a natural linear feeling buildup in response. The ride quality also feels the most performance oriented of the group, and the Michelin's the firmest tire in the test. To round out the group, I'm driving the vehicle equipped with the Pirelli P4 Four Seasons Plus. The ride on this tire strikes a happy medium. It's not as soft as the Continental, but it feels more composed, and it feels more refined than the somewhat hard riding Michelin. Sound quality is very good as well, but there is some noticeable tread growl that makes its way into the cabin. The roughly six tenths of a second gap in average lap times around a dry track is enough to notice a difference in back to back comparison but likely wouldn't be felt on the street. And the six foot disparity between the shortest and longest 50 to zero mile an hour stopping distances means each one of the tires in this group can effectively slow a vehicle during a panic stop. Our wet track testing resulted in three tires somewhat closely grouped with the fourth trailing by a considerable margin. The Hankook Kinner GPT set the fastest average lap time and was our team's objective favorite with reassuring grip while braking or accelerating, and a handling balance that built driver confidence while navigating the turns on our track. Continental's True Contact led the test in wet braking, and its longitudinal traction felt very strong on the track as well. High levels of lateral grip meant the tire would quickly respond to driver inputs, and it also presented a nicely balanced overall package. The ultimate capabilities of the Michelin Defender T Plus H felt close, but not quite to the level of the Hankook and Continental. Quick initial steering response would dissolve into understeer as more input was added, making the Michelin feel less sorted than those tires as well. Driving the Pirelli equipped car after any of the others presented a sharp contrast in capability. The Pirelli's modest grip levels required slow and gentle inputs to avoid asking too much of the tire and resulted in average lap times 4 seconds slower than the Hankook and 50 to 0 mile an hour stopping distances 35 feet longer than the Continental. Long tread life is often pretty high on a consumer's priority list when tire shopping, but the durability required to deliver extensive mileage can have an offsetting negative effect in other aspects of performance. The Continental True Contact provides a cushioned and quiet ride on the road, along with impressive wet traction and category appropriate handling. The Michelin Defender T Plus H feels sporty and quite firm on the road, with eager handling and impressive steering feel, and its traction in wet conditions should inspire confidence during the daily commute. Hankook's Kinner GPT sets the bar in this test for dry and wet performance, and its on-road characteristics are respectable, but could use a little refinement. The Pirelli P4 Four Seasons Plus presents a polished and composed package on the road, but its capabilities in the wet could use a big improvement. 
Capability in the ice and snow is another area that could potentially be compromised in the search for maximum mileage from a tire, and we're looking forward to the upcoming winter season so we can test all four of these tires to find out how each one performs during the challenge of wintertime driving. As we compare tires side by side, we find each one has its own personality, and it's not as easy as simply choosing between good and bad. So as you view our test results, it's important to focus on your priorities and what fits best with how, where, and what you drive. And also be sure to go to TireRack.com to view our full test report and learn more about the tires featured in this test.